when you buy a car, you expect it to get you where you need to go, trusting that it will be reliable for several years to come. And that's what more than a dozen people thought that they were getting when they spent thousands of dollars at a car lot in Kanawha City, only to find out there were some major problems they did not know about. As News Channel 3's Kelsey Soto explains, a lawsuit has now been filed for these victims that they feel they've been taken for a ride. It would have collapsed and it would have killed me. As a disabled Army veteran, Shane Hammock is no stranger to danger. When I found that out, it was just it was sickening. Shane needed some wheels, so in October 2019, he bought a used vehicle from Mr. V and Sons in Kanawha City. I take pride now in trying to maintain my equipment as I did in the military. Putting about $4,000 into that vehicle. But when inspection time came, so did the ultimate sticker shock. 14 inches of rust under the driver's seat and a frame so severely damaged, it could never pass an inspection. And now all I have is a lawn ornament. It can be frustrating at times. When West Virginia Attorney General Patrick Morrissey says it's not the first complaint his office has gotten about the auto company. In fact, 19 formal complaints have been filed since 2014. Documents not being provided or uh, defective cars where uh, we think that the owner didn't live up to its own obligations under the law, uh, selling things uh, for as is before the as is law passed. There are a number of areas where we think that there can and need to be corrected because otherwise the consumer holds the bag. Now he's filed a civil suit against the business representing 11 victims so far seeking restitution and other penalties. This is the first I heard of the lawsuit though. I'm happy about that. Including Tim Hudson, who wasn't even aware he was named in the court filings until we told him. There's leakage in the rust. He commutes to Huntington each day and was in desperate need of a reliable ride. I don't expect to get it for free and I don't expect it to be perfect, but I do expect it to be safe. When he started noticing problems, he took this Nissan Altima in to be looked at and learned of a wide range of mechanical issues, despite an active registration sticker. Problems included faulty brakes, improper welding, and other safety hazards. You've put my family in jeopardy. You've put me in a financial, like, crunch. He took the car to the West Virginia State Police Garage in South Charleston. That's where investigators found aluminum foil and other tape holding the foil onto the exhaust pipe, police calling it a fire hazard. The entire exhaust fell out of it. That led authorities to tracking down the garage who had been signing right. off on the inspections that Mr. V had taken this and many other vehicles to and suspending their license. Hopefully they get it resolved before they sell a tragedy to someone else's family. He too is an Army veteran and tells me he understands the weight and responsibility of getting behind the wheel of a 2,000 pound missile. I think the most frustrating part is my family. You know? We stopped in at the car lot along McCorkle Avenue trying to track down Mr. V, but just like Shane and Tim experienced, he wasn't around. Looking for Mr. V. Not it. Okay, uh, can I leave my card then? Sure. These servicemen feel like they've been taken for a ride. If that's your slogan, honesty meets value, be honest with your customers. Hoping these legal proceedings will be the very last bump in the road. What's going to happen when somebody actually dies when the, from a vehicle that's been sold that should never have been sold? Kelsey Soto, WSAZ, News Channel 3, Kanawha City. The Attorney General's office believes there may be more victims. To learn more about filing a complaint, you can visit WSAZ.com for a link and uh, get up to speed on state laws in general.